know, in this world of supposed free thinkers, I'm starting to truly believe, as I've been pondering to myself, as I've been kind of writing notes down and diving into philosophy and really just taking the deep end plunge into this whole idea of self, what I'm starting to realize is that of this world of free thinkers, of this world of people who are of their own ideas, I'm starting to think and I'm starting to really believe that a lot of people that call themselves free thinkers aren't really free thinkers. People who supposedly have their own idea of how the world works, they don't really have a clue as to what's going on because their ideas are formulated by another person. And the one thing I wanted to talk about was, are we really of our own accord? Do we really have our own opinions? Can you really say to yourself that you have your own opinion, that you're coming up with your own ideas? Or are all our, all our ideas, are all the things we're passed on, somebody else's formulated ideas? You know, we can think back and if we want to look at this in an analytical way, the stuff that we're taught and the way that we're brought up and the things that are told to us are things that we're going to believe. For instance, if we're told that going into the cold is going to make us sick, there's this idea and there's this perception in our mind that if we go into the cold, if we are somehow exposed to the cold, if we are somehow in, you know, negative 20 degree weather or negative 10 or however cold it is where you get the coldest it gets, if you're not out there bundled up, if you're not out there with a hoodie and pants and gloves and mittens and a jacket on, you're going to get sick, you're going to get a cold. But we've come to realize over time that being exposed to cold, cold therapy, cold plunges really actually help the body. But if you think about it in that way, we start to realize that our ideas, that the things that we think about, that the things that we have implanted in our brains aren't really our ideas. They're ideas that other people have indoctrined to us. They're ideas that other people have told us that they think is right, so we should believe that they're right. And it's one thing I wanted to talk about because I find it very strange that people like to say that they're free thinkers. People like to say that they have these new ideas, but are they really new ideas or are they ideas that you've been indoctrined with? Stock markets, trading. You hear people all the time giving their opinions on top five stocks or top 10 stocks for this quarter, top five stocks to invest in for the long term. And you go out there and you inherently invest without doing your due diligence because you've heard somebody else tell you it's a good idea. Now, I'm not saying that that person isn't qualified to give you stock advice, but what I'm saying is at the end of the day, you're letting somebody else dictate and influence the way that you go about in life. And it's a very interesting topic because there's times in my life where I've been influenced and there of course there's going to be times in my life where I'm influenced as to whether or not I'm a free thinker but what I wanted to bring up and I'm not I'm not disregarding myself from this case is that take a moment to really reflect on the ideas that you have take a moment to really reflect on those ideas that you have that you think are yours and truly think are they actually yours are those ideas that you have are those feelings that you have are those indoctrined stubborn ideas that you have really yours because I can think back clearly on my life, and I've been pondering this for a while, that the ideas that I have, that the, the ideas that make me, are they really me? Or are they something that somebody else has given me? Are they something somebody else has taught me? May I submit to you and may I propose that you should be pondering the question of, are my ideas really me? Have I come up and have I formulated these ideas on my own? Because I think if we take one thing away from this video is that, are my ideas my own? Am I thinking on my own? Or am I thinking from somebody else? Am I thinking from the ideas of somebody else? Am I thinking from the indoctrined nature of somebody else? Be very careful of the people that you're listening to because you don't know the intention they have behind it. And be very careful by the idea that you're listening through this video because do you know the idea I have behind it? Well, I hope you know the idea and it's to become better and it's to make you think about certain things. But you don't really know the true intention and the true moral behind my idea. You should always be thinking about that certain thing. What have I been, what have I been indoctrined with? What have people told me that I believe is true, but come to let come to yet find out that it is not true. And there's one thing I wrote down recently. Do people think for themselves? Do or better yet, can people formulate their own opinion? Is it all just what we see other people doing? Do I even think like that? Am I even quick to just go along with the masses? Say something slightly convincing and boom, I'm on board. The true beautiful idea of a human to be seen as crazy for your own ideas in a world of formulated ideas. Are you willing to be seen as crazy? Check your own mind.